Hey everybody, welcome back to my stream, Guitar Josh 7. Streaming here at Studio 62, my pretty neat uh, basement studio. You know, it's been a while, it's been a long time. Um, crazy long. Let's see how this goes. So, it's a new year, new me. So I thought it would be fun to dive into some new stuff. But in the interruptions here, I got a cute little baby uh, who's joining me for the stream. So I'm just hoping he'll, if he starts freaking out and getting upset and crying and stuff, I got to tend to him. Uh, so I'll do that. But today, what I wanted to do is I wanted to, to dive into some new stuff, uh, and I wanted to stream a little Final Fantasy IX. So I recently picked it up um, when they were headed on sale. You know, Steam has the, the crazy sales. Um, I got a minute. I'm, I'm in it already. I'm in it probably about four or five hours, uh, but I decided I wanted to stream today. Alrighty, so let's uh, let's dive in. Hopefully everything sounds good. Let me just make sure it's not too too loud. All right, let's see. Okay, here we go. If it's too loud or something, y'all gotta let me know. All right, so basically right now, let's kind of explain the story of where I'm at. Um, so the story goes, I'm like this guy named Zidane who's in this band of like theater people who plotted to kidnap the princess of Alexandria. Now little did they know, the princess wanted to be captured because I guess she... Wanted to get out and that whole thing, that kind of story, um, which is cool. Um, and then through a series of events, they have went to another castle to, to do all kinds of things. Um, yeah. Yeah, so right now we went to another castle. And, and discovered from the ruler there, who's Sid, that he had intended to kidnap the princess all because the queen of that location, the queen of Alexandria, has been doing some shady stuff. And because of that, they plotted to do this and, and bring him back to this location, which is called Lind Lindbloom. Um, and right now, what's happened, there was somebody from this location called Burmesia who showed up and said that Alexandria is attacking them, so now I'm going to help that location. So, so far I really like the story. Um, quite a bit, actually. It's, like, it's a different take, because it, cause the thing about this is it, it's like an older um, style. It's like when they went back to their older ways after Final Fantasy VIII. So I think that one didn't do as well, like people didn't like it as much. Um, especially right after Final Fantasy VII came through. Um, so they went back to kind of the old ways, you know, medieval times, um, you know, and kind of simpler game mechanics and, and different things like that. So, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to admit this is my first time playing it. So if there's any, uh, anything that I forget or whatever, don't get mad at me. <laughs> It's because I have no clue. This is completely, you know, my first time playing.
So VV is like your technical black mage, does all the fire things, and it kind of has an interesting, interesting story. It's kind of like slowly developing, which is kind of neat. Uh, and then Freya, we just met actually at the town. At yeah, Limbloom. And um, kind of like your dragoon. You know, got, they got the spear, the jump ability, all that good stuff. Let me just make sure we're all good here. Yeah, so you can see I've already I've already played for five hours, but uh, but we get in. So I guess I don't have anyone to heal. Do I? One thing I've noticed is, is the leveling is very... It's pretty slow. You know, I've invested five hours in it and I'm only level six, which is interesting. Of course, I haven't really grinded as much. I don't, I don't really know. I'm still learning if grind, if grinding is a, a big part of this or not. So to kind of see all that good stuff. That baby's being really cute. He loves my studio because I, I don't know if you can see, but I have like these, these LED lights. So like he loves the LED lights, so he, he like come down here and he'll just like, you know, be wide eyed looking at these, <laughs> these lights. But it's kind of talkative. It's cute. All right. So I'm supposed to go somewhere. I guess over here through a grotto. But I'm still kind of learning. Oh, I thought for a second I thought it froze. How do you just get out? As yeah, so you can see, I have the. If people have been, you know, past viewers. I kind of shifted my room around. I got a new studio, uh, well, a new desk, and then I got these speakers and stuff because I've been doing a lot more music, uh, music things, which is cool. I've been doing a lot of recording and getting into that, which is really nice. I've got a couple tracks already up on SoundCloud, uh, just for the fun, fun of it. But it's neat to, to sit and learn all this stuff because I, I love I love recording I love making music and so to be able to do that and have it sound halfway decent is pretty cool because I've been just learning so much about um, how to properly mix stuff because I, I did a lot of this in the past like in college but looking back like I was in this band and we recorded an album but it was really really bad <laughs> like it was because I had no clue what I was doing. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Yeah, it's not going here. It's in, it's in this grotto or something. So that's Limbloom. Some marsh. See, at this stage, it's not... Not complete. Well, I guess it's still pretty linear, but... Right, like, right now, I'm, I'm doing a bunch of other stuff. You know, I'm, I'm in the the world map, so I, honestly, I probably could go anywhere, but I want to keep going with the story. Yeah, and I'm not using any walkthroughs. I'm just basically experimenting, uh, just to see, just see what happens. That's yeah, kind of what I like to do with games. I like to go in blind first of all. Like I'll do one playthrough completely blind and just play through it and the second one maybe I'll use use a walkthrough just to see what I've missed and all the exciting new things that I didn't know about
So I hope everyone's Christmas was good, or your Hanukkah, or whatever you celebrate. And I hope that everyone had a great new year. This year, man, I've resolved to do quite a bit, uh, which is which is good. You know, I've for the longest time, pretty much my entire life, I've been like, you know, like New Year's stuff is so dumb. Like, I'm not into that. Um, let me actually turn this up a bit. I think it might be too quiet. So, like, I never really did resolutions until just recently. And, like, you know, it's it's a nice, nice thing to do, I think, because you kind of get to reflect on, you know, your year past. And, um, you know, you want to look and see where you didn't quite make the mark or where you didn't quite do what you wanted to do. Or you're fine, you know, you got kind of down on yourself. So I think it's important to, to, to have that reflection. That's why New Year's is such a cool time. Because you get to reflect and you get to look back on um, all the stuff that you did for the year. And you, know, you want to... You always want to improve yourself because, you know, life is about growing and becoming the person that you're meant to be. And you can't really do that if you stay in the same place or if you don't try to improve yourself. You should constantly be working and constantly trying to improve who you are as a person. Um, if you don't, then you're, you're not growing. You're not really doing what you're supposedly what you're meant to do. So the big thing that I did was I resolved to eat a little healthier because I do not eat healthy. Not at all. <laughs> I find myself eating out a lot, which isn't good. Uh, it's expensive and it's not healthy. It's like my lunches and stuff, I tend to go... I don't know where I'm going, I'm just running around. <laughs> but um, I tend to eat out a lot for my lunches. And it's so annoying to pack a lunch, but you gotta try. You gotta work harder. So my wife and I are doing a low sugar diet. Because supposedly, it blew my mind, our daily amount of sugar, for women, it's 25 grams of sugar. And for men, it's 38, just because you know, we need a little bit more a little bit bigger, but, um, but that's crazy, like, I mean, I'd probably go through that, in, like, by breakfast, <laughs> now, of course, this is added sugars, it's not, you know, fruit and stuff like that, it doesn't count, um, but it blew my mind, like, it blew my mind, so that's kind of what, we're, what we've been doing, and, and I find that it's actually not too difficult, I mean, the cravings have been really intense, um, but, you don't really need, um, I guess I clipped a little bit, but as long as you don't eat sweets, you don't eat dessert, you don't have soda, then you kind of get that, you kind of accomplish that goal, and that was the issue, is I would get sweets a lot, um, and soda, I drink soda a lot, so I'm trying not to, not to do that, so that, this year, and so far it's been working, you know, almost a weekend, and it's, it's, it's been really good, I feel pretty good about my sales. I'm going to do that, and then the goal is, I kind of go through ebbs and flows with recording and stream, obviously streaming, I haven't streamed in like months, um, but I want to do this more often, whenever I can, like right now, you know, it wasn't an opportune time, but I wanted to, to, to try to do it before I go to work, which is just fun, it's, it's something I enjoy, I, li I like talking to people, I like, um, you know, being able to play video games. The one thing that I'm doing basically is I'm, I'm creating. So the big thing, you know, I kind of talked about on the stream a while ago, was I've been having this crazy urge, this crazy desire to just make things, to create music, to create videos, to create albums, soundscapes, to stream, to, to do it all. And so that's kind of what I've been trying to do. Um, so my resolution was to every month put something out, whether it be a video, because I'm actually starting to make videos. I have this kind of idea in my head for a really neat YouTube channel uh, that hopefully flourishes, but we'll see. Kind of combining music and video games. Um, so putting a video out at least once a month. If I could do more than that, that'd be cool. And then also recording a track and putting that out uh, once a month as well, which is really neat. Because, you know, like I said, we've been, I've been recording a lot with my wife. And it's a lot of fun. And 
with all this new equipment and stuff I've, I've been getting. It really changes how everything sounds and the knowledge that I'm getting from, from practicing. Um, whoops. And all that good stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I'm going to put out a video and a song on our SoundCloud, which is JC Music. JC Moore Music? JC Music. It's kind of all about things that we do. Um, and video, I'm trying to eat healthier. And then also, last thing, is I'm trying to grow my... Because I'm a guitar teacher, so that's kind of something that I've always really wanted to do with the studio. And I have a couple students now, which is really nice. But I, I love it. That's actually what I started doing. I started working at Guitar Center and a couple mom and pop places, uh, just teaching guitar. And I was a guitar instructor, all that goodness. Um, and I want to do that again. But the thing is, is I don't want to work for a company. Like, I don't want to work for a mom and pop, pop place, even though that was a really nice gig. Or I especially don't want to work for Guitar Center anymore. So I want to grow that, and, you know, because it's like my own business. You know, I can set my own hours, and honestly, it pays way better. Like the amount that I charge, um, I don't really charge that much. But the thing is, is, is it's all self profit. I see all of it. So the thing when I was working at Guitar Center is I would see not very much. Every hour that I worked would be about eight dollars that I would take home. Um, supposed to be $20, but I got taxes and different things. Um, I really didn't make that much. But now it's going to be... So it's $60 an hour for what I'm doing now. Of course, I have to do taxes and all that stuff, which is a whole different story. But, um... Yeah, so make a lot more money. Because what I found is that if I have 15 students, so that means if I'm working seven and a half hours a week, just seven hours a week, I make as much as I'm making now. I can touch it. So that is kind of obviously driving me and pushing me to want to get more students. So I have a website now. I have uh, business cards. and I'm trying to find ways to advertise, and I don't really... I'm very bad about that kind of thing, because um, I just don't really know. I don't know how to advertise. I don't know how to <laughs> be out there. Like I want to do Skype lessons now. Like I have this nice webcam and obviously this, this cool microphone, so I want to kind of utilize that um, to do lessons too. But again, growing that audience and, and getting getting students is a, is a whole another story, a whole different situation. Throwing myself out there when the world is already clouded with people. And it's, it's hard to do. It is. But, you know, there's just different things. That I'm, I'm considering, like, trying to uh, go to a library and do, do, like, a program there for, like, people who haven't been playing guitar much. Just, like, an intro to the guitar. Try to grow stuff in there. Um, but because I want to, I want to grow that. I want to become so that the resolution was I want to get 20 students by next year, and then quit Guitar Center and continue to, to foster that. That way I can stay home. I can uh, be with the baby more, and then I can just do everything here. That would be much better. That's kind of what I was thinking before. So that was my resolution. So I'm eating healthier. I'm getting more students. Recording, putting a video out once, once a month. Again, if that can happen more often. That's another thing too: is if I get more students, then I can stay home, 
and I can work on these things more, you know. And obviously, it's, it's different with a, with a baby. So I have to focus a lot on him because it's a big responsibility, and, and I, mean, I love it. I love, I love this boy. And, um, he's really great. I've learned so much about myself and about being a dad already. It's, it's really neat. Um, but yeah, it's a lot more time for that. And it'd be good, kind of building a brand. What I'm trying to do. So going across to all these platforms, you know, putting music on SoundCloud, putting videos up on YouTube, um, you know, just, just trying to advertise myself so that people can hopefully click for me. So we'll see how all that goes. I feel pretty confident though. I feel pretty good about this year. There's gonna be a lot of really neat things that are happening. A lot of, a lot of gigs and stuff that my wife and I are doing. Um, and it's all good. The other thing too was to exercise more. So, for the longest time I would go to a gym and I had a membership there, but just a couple weeks ago I ended up canceling it, which is not easy to do, but... Because I just wanted to... I think I was wasting all this money because I had to watch the baby, so I couldn't go. Because normally what I would do is I would go after work, but I couldn't really do that anymore because I would come straight home now. I come right home to leave the babysitter, which is my mother-in-law, and then because uh, I don't want to make her wait, you know, an extra hour doing something for myself. Um, Yeah, so I don't go to the gym anymore, but my wife bought me a bunch of stuff for the basement to um, look out on it. So to work out throughout the week at home. That's easier too, just to be home. Hopefully this stream looks good. I've like I made some changes recently to try and make it more solid. Because it would like skip and have all these issues, but it doesn't look like it's having any. See the frame rate staying. I haven't dropped any any scenes yet. Put frames in. What I found is that I just needed the resolution to be lower. I think it was too much work for the system to work at 1080. The longest time I kept talking about getting a new computer. The plan is, is there, I'm definitely going to, but now what I've decided though is I'm just going to use, for right now, I'm going to use the money I make from lessons for the studio. So the, the plan is I just want a new computer and I'm going to get a new audio interface. Because the one I have now is nice. But the preamps aren't quite good enough. I just have this focus right 2i4, um, which you know makes it sound nice for streams, and it does make it sound decent for recording. But it's just missing a little bit of clarity and a little bit of uh, refinement that I want. Which, nice. which I'll be able to get from something like a universal audio interface, something like an Apollo. Um, on era, so I'm saving up for that, and then further for a computer, and then by then, it's just all bells and whistles. So 
really nice to get a, a good, good computer. Let me see here. So I've been trying to understand. I, I kind of understand. I get this pretty well. This, uh, these ability, abilities and all that. Because uh, I'm guessing it's like similar to how, like, Kingdom Hearts is. And how they have, you know, you have different things. Um. How you have, with your keyblades, you can get different things and, and use different things. Uh, that's one thing, too. Um. I visited my parents, which is really nice. To do that, because I, I live pretty far from them now, uh, so to be able to to see them is always really nice. Um, so the last time I went for right was right before Christmas. <clears throat> I took home our PS2 that we had, yeah, this, you know, the Slimline Silver Edition PS2 that we had for a really long time. Didn't have any problems with it ever. You know, never needed anything. I'm not afraid of it. it should be in the back. And then, like, the moment that I bring it home, it's, like, broken. <laughs> you know? So I have all these games now. Oh, well, those are the roots. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go that way. All the roots. Yeah, I'll go through the marsh. Why not? Well, let me save first. Um, I brought it home and I was making this. Whoops. Oh, cool. Um, this really kind of clicking sound and, and the the drive, the laser disc, or the laser drive motor thing was only going in one direction and it was clicking. It wasn't pushing back the other way. So I think something wrong with the worm motor. So I was like, I'll just cut my losses. The thing is, you know, you can try to just buy another one somewhere. So I have all, I brought like Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy XII and all these games from my parents' house and it doesn't even work. It's so, like I'm kind of stuck. Give it to this person. <laughs> Who the heck are you? <laughs> Me. Oh, is this another person? Queen? Queena? Between 70 and 90. What the heck? So is this completely missable? Because I, I kind of just went right around this. That was mean.
Oh, where did we go? Those tongues. <laughs> Oh, it's a him. Yeah, sure. More than mirror. So I guess we gotta find his grandpa, explore the marshes. That was about. So the YouTube channel that I'm thinking of doing is uh, I'm gonna call it the Video Gaming Maestro. It's kind of cheesy, but. And I want to basically 
talk about like the biggest themes from the best video games. Like breaking down, you know, the different uh, chord progressions and, you know, the kind of the theory end while still trying to make it interesting, comparing, you know, the music to, you know, its time period and all that stuff. So, like, the first one that I've been working on is just doing the, the main title from Final Fantasy VII. So that'd be pretty cool. But not, I'm still learning a lot about video editing and all that stuff. So it's probably not going to be that, the best quality until I learn more about production behind it and all that good stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Like had been like ten episodes, and then I would start doing the video or the channel. But we'll see, you know, who knows? Because I, you know, I want to release something like once a month, so maybe that's enough time to. The thing that I'm finding is it's taking me a really long time. I didn't think that it would take me so long, but it really has. So, I, well, you know, I'm trying to create my format and how I'm gonna do it. Whether I'm gonna like talk about the game, like the developer, the composer, and then how I want to go about doing that. It's kind of a lot to, to go into it. And then also like how I'm gonna actually analyze the music, like what, what would be the best way to show or to record it. And, Cause you got like people like the not the 8-bit theory, or someone. Oh, I forget now. But he would like write it out on staff paper. But then he would just speed it up to make it um... whoa. He would just speed it up to make it look, you know, much faster and, and all that stuff. So that was something I was thinking about too, but I don't want to like take that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some kind of graphic or maybe um, something online or something with some maybe like, what's it called? It's Sibelius. There's like all these different music, you know, I guess you call them apps, applications. We can like throw the music up on there, and then you can like point a lot of stuff about it. Let me save. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm finding. Because I, I love, obviously I love music, and then I like video games too, so like what better way to make a really neat video than to combine the two. I was thinking of this for a while, um, what were we doing, we had, 
think there's like a tree or something. I drove somewhere, and on my way home, I was thinking like, whoa, like, why don't I make a channel where I talk about music and then video games? Because I kept thinking of how I wanted to make, you know, stuff like this, like streaming and and where I can have a platform. Because I, I put these videos up on my personal YouTube channel, but like I wanted to do something more to that extent where I'm creating, you know, the whole creating thing. Beating is so interesting. So we break into this location outside of Alexandria, I forget what town it was called. But they have. They were creating black mages that look similar to VV, not quite the same. But they're making a doll and then spraying mist on it which brought it to life. So then it gave Vivi like a existential crisis. Like, was I created this way? Am I supposed to be a bad person? Are these my siblings? That kind of thing. So it's been really interesting. His story has been really interesting. Vivi's story. It's not important. Let's kill him. <laughs> Yikes. Generally, if you don't know someone, you probably should not kill them. <laughs> Just saying. Life, life lessons with Josh. Don't kill people. It's not nice.
baby's waking up. He's pretty hungry. So I'm going to feed him. But uh, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you have a great day. And um, we'll talk to you soon. Let me do my outro. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, tune in next time. Just keep your notifications on, all that good stuff. You can see when I'm gonna I'll be back. I'm gonna try to do this more often. Probably gonna keep going with, with FF9. I was doing FF7 before, but I think I'm gonna break that for a while. Um but yeah, so good luck with your resolutions and stick with it. Same with me, and uh we'll see you around. Alright, peace.